How are you? My name is Michelle Connor. I'm your VCS for Living Environment. Um, so today we're going to be looking at the enzyme rate lab simulation. Um, so if you aren't familiar, what we have here um, with the Teach Up lesson is the first set of slides. Um, anything in gray is for the teachers. The purple banner is the question for the day. Pink banner is the lesson objective. Yellow banners are the instruction and modeling slides. The green slides are the independent work. The orange slide is a check for understanding and the blue slides are your regions based wrap ups. Anywhere you see a blue box is where the students can go ahead and type their answers and information in. You want to go ahead and delete these slides out until you get to this purple banner before you go ahead and give it to your students. Um, so this lab is really cool. It seems really complicated but it's not. Um, we want to go ahead and open the simulation and then go ahead and open the worksheet for the students. So the worksheet goes over all the directions. It is a little complicated because there's a lot of information that we're looking at at once, um, but all the directions are listed here. I'm gonna go ahead and go over it. Um, so what we're looking at is a screenshot um, of what the simulation looks like. So you notice simulation right here. Um, and what we're going to be doing, there's a little bit of a pre-lab, some pre-lab questions, and I'm going to go over the actual simulation for you. So the first simulation is temperature and how temperature affects the simulation, and the second one is how pH affects the simulation. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting certain parameters and then changing either temperature or pH. So the first one we're doing is we're setting the initial lactose to 500 and the pH to 7. We are not going to be touching those for the rest of the trial. So we're going to have um, initial lactose at 500. The pH here is at 7. So we're going to go ahead and no longer touch it. Next, we're going to be running one trial at a time. So the students are going to need to have access to this so they can go ahead and write all their information down. Um, and we're going to start with 0 degrees. So if we go to 0 degrees, we could slide it here. We're at 0, and we're going to hit Run. Now, when we're done running, there's a couple things we're going to be looking for. So highest Vmax value. So the Vmax is here. Our highest Vmax value is going to be 0. So 500 here, and we're going to have our, it's the comma, we're looking for that second number. So it says 500 comma 0. Our max height is going to be 0. The second thing we're looking at is the test tube color. So our test tube color here is blue. We go ahead and type in blue and our glucose concentration. So in order to find that, we're gonna hit this black circle with the I and we're gonna compare it to this sliding scale. So we're looking at um, a low, medium or high level of glucose. So this is none actually or low. We're going to go ahead and write that here. So we're looking as a concentration high, medium, or low. Now the next one we're going to change is 20 degrees. I'm going to show you another one just so you kind of see some information. So we're going to slide to 20, hit run. You'll notice the test tube changes color. So again, we're looking for the max Vmax, which is here. So run two is red. So all the runs are going to be on the same graph. So we're looking at run two and the height we're looking for is 76.7. So that's 76.7. We're going to write in our highest test tube color and concentration. Our test tube color is red. Our concentration then is going to be high. The next temperature is 40. I'll show you one more. Slide to 40. Hit run. So notice we're not changing anything else and we're just running these right over each other. We're gonna do our highest Vmax. Click to line it up. So you see it's 102. Our color is red and our concentration is high. And that's all you need to know.